what up you guys this is Danny B you're watching the trash dash and uh, I'm out in my car and it's pitch black so I'm gonna be behind the camera and in this video I'm gonna be ranking the Pumpkinhead franchise Pumpkinhead to me was one of the scariest movies I ever saw when I was a kid I the fucking creatures scared the shit out of me and I still think it, like the design of Pumpkinhead holds up I think he's like the scariest movie monster of the 80s but yeah, I've always been a big fan of like vigilante movies and um, I never realized it at the time, but Pumpkinhead is a vigilante monster. And what cracks me up too is that they uh, designed him to look like Lance Hendrickson. So if you look at the design of like, uh, at least in the first movie, like the design of Pumpkinhead, it kind of looks like Lance Hendrickson is a Lance Hendrickson monster. But anyways, let's get on with the ranking. There's actually four movies in this franchise. The first one came out in 89. Then the second one came out in 94, I believe. And then uh, Sci-Fi Channel made two sequels around 2006 and 2007. And uh, yeah, let's rank these. All right, so coming up at number four is actually going to be um, part three. Uh, Pumpkinhead, Ashes to Ashes. This one's actually a direct sequel to the first one. And it's decent. Um, it's just like a little bit convoluted. But yeah, the kid from the first one, he's a drug addict now. And then his sister is too. They're working for this dirty doctor. And then um, someone summons Pumpkinhead. And uh, Pumpkinhead goes after him. I think it's the kid's mom. Because Lance Hendrickson was the kid's dad. And the kid's mom is now... Uh, summoning Pumpkinhead to go after the remaining people or something. Yeah, I didn't really get this one so much. Uh, it was okay. It had some really cool scenes in it, but this is my least favorite in the franchise. Coming up at number three is going to be part two. And part two, I really like. Um, I just like the other two better. And you got um, Bill Clinton's real-life brother in this as the mayor. And uh, it's very, very random that he's in this. And then... Um, Pumpkinhead looks okay. He doesn't look as good as the first one, but he still looks pretty good. And this one has nothing to do with the first movie, except for the witch. The witch returns. This time, uh, her son died. Her son was a deformed kid. And these uh, greasers, I don't even want to say greasers, just these 50s, like, jock kids fucking kill, um, kill her son. Now he's back as Pumpkinhead or something like that. Uh, the music in this is what works for me. I really love the music in this. And um, the performance by the sheriff. I don't know his name, but he's pretty good in it. He's the guy that played uh, the bad guy in Dirty Harry, the original Dirty Harry. He played Scorpio. Even though it's a standalone movie, it's, it's still a pretty fun movie. So that's number three, Pumpkinhead Part 2. Coming up at number two is Pumpkinhead Part 4. And Pumpkinhead Part 4 actually took me by surprise. You got uh, the Hatfields and McCoys are in this for some fucking reason. Uh, and then Pumpkinhead, it, it is a continuation of um, the last one of Part 3. But it's also like they just were like, all right, well, that story arc is over. Now let's start a whole new story arc without ignoring what happened in Part 3 and Part 1. But yeah, this one, uh, Pumpkinhead, is pretty ruthless in this. He was, like, ripping people's heads off and <laughs> all kinds of gory shit. You got a lot of cool gore in this movie. And for part three and part four, they got, like, a whole new Pumpkinhead suit. And it looks a little weird. Like, Pumpkinhead has, like, a way less of a pumpkinish head. He has just, like, a normal size head. But he still looks really cool. So you got the Hatfields McCoys and it turns into like a Romeo and Juliet type of movie where one of the Hatfield guys is dating one of the McCoy girls or something and um, they can't be together because of their family feud. And then so he summons Pumpkinhead to kill all of the McCoys or some shit. I don't know. But it's a fun movie. I liked it. That's uh, Pumpkinhead Part 4 at number 2. And coming up at number one, of course, is the original Pumpkinhead. Fucking love this movie. Um, Pumpkinhead's just such a fucking cool monster. And uh, and I was trying to figure out what state this takes place in. Because it's such a cool looking state. Like, they're out in the middle of nowhere, but there's like swamps and shit. I think maybe it's Louisiana, but there's also hills and shit. So I don't know. Do they got hills up in Louisiana? To me, this is Lance Hendrickson's best role. 
I, I don't know. I just really love his character in this. He's got the fake teeth. I buy him as a hillbilly. Uh, he's awesome in this. And, like, the witch looks really awesome. Pumpkinhead looks really awesome. All the sets look awesome. And you got the cabin from um, Friday the 13th Part 4 is in this. Uh, the the cabin that the kids are being, like, attacked by Pumpkinhead in, this is the same cabin that Jason attacked in Part 4. And anytime Pumpkinhead's on screen, you got all these, like, cool, light, like, flashing lightning lights and shit it's just awesome and stan winston directed this and uh he did an awesome job i gotta say he should have like as talented as that guy was as a um makeup artist and stuff he was really talented as a director and i always call Pumpkinhead the the king of the vhs monsters because i guess this movie bombed in the theaters but for the next um the next like seven years or something and like from i want to say 1990 to 97 or something, I always saw Pumpkinhead, like, prominently on the the shelf at the video store. My video store had, like, a big Pumpkinhead 3D cardboard display. Saw it every time I went in there. Always thought it was awesome. Yeah, he's my favorite um, movie monster of the 80s. Not, like, movie slasher like Jason and Freddy or any of them, but movie, like, monster. So let's do a quick rating, too, of all four movies. So part one, I'm going to give five out of five stars. Pumpkinhead part two. Probably give that one, like, 3.5 out of five. Pumpkinhead part three, probably a three out of five. Maybe even a 2.5 out of five for that one. Um, I got to rewatch it and decide. It's decent, but it's not the best. And then part four, I'm actually going to give probably, like, a four out of five. I had a lot of fun with that one. That's a uh, part four blood feud is the name. All right, you guys, this is Danny B. You're watching the trash dash. Let me know what you think of the pumpkin head movies. Let me know what your favorite movie monster is. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.